Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. So I'm here with the Charger SRT Hellcat. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about beating the Tempest 3 Tier 4 challenges using this car. Anytime a Tier 4 car comes along, uh, one of the first things we start thinking about is, can this car beat Donna? And in this case, with this car, the answer is not only yes, but that it can do it without all Stage 6s. In fact, you only need two Stage 6s one of which is body and the other nitrous now so body and nitrous turns out to be the two biggest stage sixes uh for this car and surprisingly right after them is tire so your big three literally is right next to each other so you got tire you got nitrous and you got body and they're all top stage sixes the rest of the stage sixes kind of break down into uh like trans engine and, and then um, intake and turbo is the worst. So what's really interesting is that body does a lot for both speed trap and for sprints. So you really need body. Nitrous just helps you push the car through the speed trap and the sprint. So with just body and nitrous, you're looking only at 651 uh, PPs, which is lower than what you really need for Tempest 3 Tier 4 at the end. Uh, remember the last two brackets you're permitted to have up to 658 and ultimately uh, 671 so nitrous and body and everything else kind of eh. uh, interestingly what i just circled engine turbo and intake doesn't seem to do as much um, for the speed traps as you would think uh, which is somewhat surprising to me Tire does help a lot of performance, but it doesn't help a whole lot with the other things. When it comes to the rest, it's really coming down to um, having, you know, the additional stage sixes such as trans engine, turbo. They're all going to help you get a little bit further, but they're not going to be needed to beat uh, Donna and Tempest 3 Tier 4. Now, Dodge Fusions, get them from stripping Dodge Vipers if you need extras. Okay, let's take a look at the tune here for Sprint first, because I already have it set up that way. So the Sprint, uh, at this setup, it's telling you 1.505, but you have to leave it at 4.55. If you go 4.56, the dyno drops to 1.680. The reason for that is you are no longer able to hit third gear 60 mile per hour. So that one little click makes a big difference in that sprint so other than that the sprint is done at 0 100 tire and nitrous at the shortest duration so we're here we're going to set a quarter mile so we can run this easier and demonstrate it well as far as launching and shifting for the sprint itself you want to launch the car get out of first relatively quickly nitrous second go right into third and stop there okay so you're going to launch it first Second, the third, oop, oop, oop. okay, now that's a mistake. I went into fourth, that's going to kill the run. So you only need to shift twice, right? Second and third. Don't shift that extra. So I'm going to have to redo this. This is not going to hit the time. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit slower. Yeah, 1.630. Okay, let's do it again. I, I, I can do this. So that's a rookie mistake right there. Um, you know, I clicked too hard, too fast, because I was desperate to get those shifts done quickly and then I did it wrong so let's do it again stay in third okay this is one of those tricks when you're kind of tight and trying to get a specific oh, what did I do there did I just click something else all right let's get rid of that all right so what you want to do is you want to just get to third and you're good to go okay now this is going to beat the time 1.446 easily defeats the 1.494 requirement um, right there no problem so two stage six we already beat the toughest zero to 60 challenge let's do speed trap speed trap is set up with 53 47 tire as that's a common setting and we're gonna have the car in right at 260 mile per hour now you see the dyno saying 247 but what you're gonna be able to do is push this car to about 260 beyond that 247.8 that it's telling you okay so this car does manage to hit that final gear top speed at the end of the track. Now, this is a half mile race, not a quarter mile because it's Tempest. I know all the other events now, they're doing quarter mile speed traps, but Tempest is half mile, 260 mile per hour, half mile. 
Timing of the nitrous is important here. This is where you got to be a little patient. You're going to use nitrous at about 6,000 RPMs in six gear. Actually, 6,500 in six gear. So we're going to wait till it just touch that red area and then boom. What this allows it to do is to end nitrous right at the end of the track. And because you're using and you're leveraging the complete nitrous portion, you're able to hit that 261.5. So right there, you now have beaten both the speed 0 to 60 sprint and the 260 mile per hour speed trap. Now I'm going to show you that it can crush Donna's time too, because, right, that's a question. 11.5, she runs a 12.4. You will have no problem destroying her in the final race to take her car. So there it is, two stage six Dodge Charger Hellcat set up for beating Tempest 3 tier four now i'm not showing you every breakdown of the bracket with this video if you need that um, if you're struggling to find the lower bracket settings uh, feel free to reach out to me in the comments and i'll see what i can do uh, i can always put up another video if you have any suggestions comments feel free to make them in the uh, comment section if you like the video please leave a like and if you like this kind of videos and you would like to get notifications when i put them up subscribe to the channel so you can get the notifications and as always thank you for watching my videos i'll catch you next time